What's good YouTube? Back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show off my Jordan 12 collection. All right. So Jordan 12's top five silhouette for me, I'd say the 11, the three, the 12, probably the five and the 13, but it's close. At that point, the fours can be in there. The ones, you know, the ones never been in my top five. Like all you guys now like the Jordan ones. If you ain't like Jordan ones from back then, for me personally, I liked the 11s, 12s, 3s, 5s, 4s, 13s. Those are probably my top six. Then everything else is pretty much after that. All right. But I'm going to show you my Jordan 12 collection. All right. I have five OG colorways. I recently showed four of them in the 1996-97 Michael Jordan video. So I'll throw a card up somewhere where you guys can watch that video. And basically, it's a video just talking about that NBA season and then showing off some Mitchell and S and original champion authentic jerseys. So go check that out if you haven't. But let's get started. I have 16 pairs of Jordan 12s. Might as well start it now. All right. So the first sneak I'm going to show you is a super OG classic. You have the black and red, a.k.a. drank too much tequila the night before, a.k.a. the pizza was fucked up. Flu games. All right. So it's the flu games, of course, the most memorable game is the finals, game five. Pivotal game. If they don't win that game, they're down 3-2 going into Chicago for game six and game seven. But Mike carries the team, sick as a dog, and they were able to secure their fifth championship because of it. So definitely an iconic moment, an iconic game. I remember watching that game like, this dude looks way off. But uh, he pulled it out, man. So... Jordan 12, black and red, would always be memorable because of that. All right, so there's that one. I said in the previous video that this is probably my favorite Jordan 12. It's 1A, 1B, 1C with the next two I'm going to show you. But Jordan 12 playoffs. These are clean, man. They're coming out with these again in February. And, man, these are dope. These are dope. Clean, clean Jordan and of course, game one, NBA Finals, Jordan drops a buzzer beater on Byron Russell, and I will always remember that, and then he would wear these with the black socks, or the whole team would wear black socks, but he would rock these with the black socks in the playoffs. Of course, we would see this in the All-Star game with the white socks, but these were the home playoff joints, man. These are so dope, so that's the Jordan 12 playoff. Let's get into another OG classic. Perfect time to bring these out right now for Christmas holiday season is the white and red Jordan 12. Now, I know this is probably the most popular Jordan 12 OG that most people want to come out and uh, re-retro. But, man, these are dope. I believe these are from 2009. And these are holding up pretty good. Of course, you got to wear your kicks to conserve them. All right. Funny enough, do not not wear your sneakers and your sneakers 10 years old. All right. That's just the recipe for disaster. Wear them. I should be wearing them more within the house. That's what I should be doing because I have too many. And unfortunately, my job doesn't allow me to wear these sneakers because I have to wear, you know, electric construction boots. So... With that being said, I'm not able to wear them as much as I would like. But I need to probably start wearing them throughout the house, even if it's just a regular day. Because, believe it or not, wearing them actually conserves them even longer. So, it's a little tip, all right? But there's the Jordan 12 white and red, man. Beautiful. Beautiful sneaker. All right, keeping it OG, OG, OG. We got another OG classic for you is the Jordan 12 Taxi. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I remember in 1997, I was in 7th grade, and to follow up after the Jordan 11, I would see these on people's feet, and I'm like, damn, you could just tell it was a Jordan. There's nothing like it in the market that looked like it. It was so dope, like, oh, shit, he's wearing a Jordan. You could tell, man right away. That always stuck out with me for the Jordan 12s. 
There was no shoe like this. And of course, we get that iconic commercial. I believe he's wearing these, actually. Um, the Frozen Moments commercial. Pfft, man, this is crazy. Me, personally, I thought he should have won MVP this year. I thought Karl Malone should have won MVP in 1998. I know they were giving it to Mike because it's his last dance, and they made that a big deal. But I actually thought this was a better year. He had 69 wins, or the Bulls had 69 wins. Um, he averaged 30 a game. And they had the best record in the league. So to me, this year, he should have won back-to-back -back MVPs. In the third year, he carried the team a little bit more. But they didn't have the best record in the league. So, you know, there's that. So, But that's Jordan 12 taxis. And then we're going to round off the OG colorways. All right. We have the Jordan 12 Obsidian. Now, the Jordan 13 just recently came out with uh, Obsidian model as well. And it reminds me so much of these. Matter of fact, they're right here. It reminds me so much of these. Because it's that navy with little hints of North Carolina blue. So, and the white laces, just a nice little touch on these. Again, I would see people wearing these in 1997, and it just brought back that nostalgia. This is why we do it. You know, collectors collect because there's a part of them that fell in love with something when they couldn't afford it or they couldn't obtain some of these things. And they fell in love with that player or they fell in love with that moment. And then, you know, this is this is why we collect. But we wear our kicks, you know. This is dope. Jordan 12 Obsidian. Clean colorway. All right. Now we're going to get into the retros. So I might as well pull this one out. You have the cool gray 12. Clean, clean, clean. Hints of orange. So, I believe this one and the Jordan 3, both of them have hints of orange on the cool gray model. The Jordan 4 didn't, and the Jordan 11s don't. But the Jordan 3 and the Jordan 12 have hints of orange. And the Charles Barkley CB94s have hints of orange on the cool gray model. So, pretty dope shoe. Nice little suede, new buckish, whatever material that is. But, can't go wrong with a clean Jordan 12. All right. My dogs are barking. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. So, now we're worrying. What's up, baby? How you doing, girl? All right. All right. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Get off me. Get out. <laughs> so, where were we? Uh, we were to this sneaker right here. Now, this, I will say this. Anytime they make... A classic Jordan, which is usually a black and red, white and red. Anytime they make it a black and blue, white and blue, it's just clean automatically. And this is one of them. The Jordan 12 Blue Games. That's corny. <laughs> That's corny. But the sneaker's dope. Uh, it's got the translucent bottom, just like the Jordan 12 Red. You know what I'm saying? So, super sick sneaker. But, yeah. This is the Jordan 12 blue version of the black and reds. And to me, it's a classic. To me, it's a classic. It's a dope-ass sneaker for sure. So, that's the black and blue Jordan 12. Okay. Now, we're going to take you to North Carolina. And the Carolina UNC 12s. Little hints of Carolina blue. Not a lot. Mostly a gray new buck suede leather mud guards. You have a navy back tab navy liner. So definitely a clean shoe. Dope. But yeah, that's the Jordan 12 UNC. Alright. Let's see. So you have a Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. Now, this one's different. I love the color blocking. It has the taxi color blocking, which is my favorite color blocking. But uh, on this one, you have different materials. You have a reflective material on the upper. You have, like, bamboo on the 
tab here, you have like this bamboo design on the mud guard. You have bamboo on the whatever the hell these are called. And then, you know, your Chinese lettering. But the color blocking on these are sick. And the reflection on these are sick. So this is pretty dope. Of course, it reminds me of this Jordan 12. And you can't go wrong with these this color blocking. My favorite color blocking, although the playoffs are my favorite Jordan, this is my favorite color blocking on a Jordan 12. In fact, I like it so much, I really wish they come out with Ray Allen's Jordan 12 PEs. Now, he had two different PEs. He had a Bucks PE, which was a darker green, I believe. And then he had a Seattle Sonics PE, which was a little bit more of a like Sonics green, Celtics green, more on that color of green. They really need to put those out, man, because a green Jordan 12 in this color blocking would be sick. Sick. They've been doing it with the 13s. They need to do it on the 12s. Give us a white and yellow, a white and green, white and blue, royal blue like the Rip Hamilton 12s. Give us those, man. Those would be so sick. Okay. And then I might as well just show you these because they're all in the same family. The Jordan 12 royalty. All right. This is the latest release of the Jordan 12. Phenomenal release. My Jordan 12 taxi actually on my right foot got a little scuffed. So I'm happy to get these because this is the closest you're going to get to a Jordan 12 taxi. So definitely happy to get these. And as we can see what they look like. But if we're keeping it taxi, I believe these were called the reverse taxis. So this is a really nice sneaker. Uh, it didn't get a lot of hype when it first came out, but you have really good materials. Leather on the mud guard. Almost like a suede. It's a little dry suede. It's like a suede on the upper. And then you have your gold tips. You have your gold or yellow down the line but then you have the back tab which is very close to the taxis all right i mean you could see the similarities of course and let me bring these one out too might as well you could see the similarities in all of them honestly but you definitely see these two a little bit closer than those so there is that all right i think i'm done with all of these so now we got to go to these so I said before, Jordan 12, playoff, my favorite. And then we got the mini me, Jordan 12 low. It's the only low I own in the Jordan 12. Same exact as the Jordan 12, just in the low cut form. They would also make a taxi low and I believe a few other lows. But I know for a fact they made a taxi low, but this is the playoff low and just to show you what it looks like. Of course, these are what he wore. So they're more intriguing to me personally. This is a nice little version of it, I guess. So there's that. All right. Jordan 12s, low, high. And they're coming back with these in February. So that'd be great to see what those look like. All right. So we have the Jordan 12, low. Okay. So... Uh, Jordan brand's really starting to get into this like winterized stuff. And there was a time period where I guess this was like one of the first or few, uh, winterized kind of shoes. I don't even know the name of these, <laughs> but they have like a neoprene upper, which repels a little bit of water. But yeah, these are the Jordan 12, whatever the name is. And you have your leather mudguard and you have your neoprene throughout the tongue. And throughout the upper of the Jordan. And then you have like a leather back tab. So nice sneaker. Um, I definitely would wear it more. Especially now. Where uh, you know you may get some rain and shit like that. So I know I've worn it before. But I probably should wear these a little bit more. Okay. So now we're down to the last three. And I have to be honest with you. These probably are my favorite three non-original colorways. These three right here. Okay? So let's get started. You have the Jordan 12 white and red. Clean. I love these. These to me were so underrated. 
uh, went under the radar. Very dope sneaker, right? Dope sneaker. Perfect time to wear this is right now as well. That white and red just pops really nicely. So definitely dope. All right. And then we have another great sneaker. I need to wear these. <laughs> I haven't worn these yet. And I need to because these are so dope. They go great with the Jason Kidd alternative or New Jersey Nets alternative gray jersey all right you have the white and these used to be called flint gray back in the days i don't know what they call this particular one but this is the newer version but you see that red white gray and then the red on the tongue these are fire now the stitching on these is a little bit different it doesn't bother me i think it's a nice little uh touch you know as you can see this is what that looks like. That's a typically how Jordan 12s look like. It's like this, but this is how this looks like. Slightly different from far. You definitely can't tell. You could only tell if you're really up on the sneaker. All right. But the color blocking, like I said, it's my favorite color blocking on the Jordan 12. This is a dope ass sneaker. I need to wear them. I need to wear these, man. These are so fire. These are sick. All right. So now we're going to get to my favorite. Favorite retro, favorite retro, period, are these right here, all right? The Jordan 12 French Blues, man. Kobe wore them in the 2002, three or three, four, whatever season that was. And these are fire, all right? Funny enough, this French Blue is almost the same exact color as the Washington Wizards jersey. It's weird. It's crazy. I'll actually put a picture up just so you guys can see it. But this is actually the same blue. It's almost a Wizards blue. But yeah, this is a clean ass colorway. Silver tab. You know, dope, man. Dope ass colorway. You know, I wore these before, but I don't know why the bottoms are so clean. But I definitely wore these before. But yeah, there you have it. My Jordan 12 collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And then again, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I'm seeing the views go up. I'm seeing the subscribers go up. And I welcome everybody, man. You guys are all dope to me. But you guys have been great. And uh, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Wherever part of the world you're in. Australia, shout out to y'all. I see you guys watching my videos. Shout out to Europe, London, UK. I see you guys watching my video. I appreciate all you guys, man. For sure. And wherever you are, have a happy holiday. If you're in the hood, have a happy holiday. If you're in Manhattan, have a happy holiday. Don't matter. If you're coming through to watch my channel, have a happy holiday. Have a safe holiday. And on that note, we out. All right? Peace.